Hey, if you were gonna go camping, would you go in the rain? Hey, it ain't so bad. No crowd. Let's see how this weekend goes. I appreciate you coming to the channel. That's LAF Base Film Fest. Capital LAF Base Film Fest. We're gonna see how this goes. Woo! Hey, here's a good idea. When you car camp in the rain, bring an umbrella. Very important. And your rain gear. Waking up this morning, go down and sign in. Beautiful morning, it is raining, that is to be expected. Glad you came along. Okay, they got some new picnic tables. Man, those are nice. Wow, giant. I think those are uh, handicap accessible. They're wide on both ends so a wheelchair can get underneath and, and still enjoy a good dinner. There's something you gotta kinda watch. Especially if you bring your kids camping. Something like this right here. My guess is a, a kid probably did this, took a hatchet and chopped, chopped the tree up. Probably not really knowing that that'll probably kill that tree now. Looks like it's a maple tree, softwood tree. I probably made that mistake in the years too, letting my kids chop around with a hatchet. Chop, chop, chop. But yeah, that'll sure hurt a tree right there. Skin it like day, that. At least part of the day is going to be raining. It's going to clear up, turn off a little bit cooler. Yeah. Nice day. What I thought I'd do is come on out to the Hoosier National Forest and just kind of hang out for a day or two. I brought my office along. I know my Montana is my office, but this is my luxurious office here. So I brought it along. And what I thought I would do is take some time and start going through some videos and start doing some editing. Kind of getting a little bit behind on some of my videos and I want to make sure that I keep putting them out for you to enjoy. Yeah, it's going to clear up. Just one of those days. Hey, it's springtime. You know, it's going to rain in the spring. I like to do on my 1987 Coleman pop-up. I always like to throw a couple tarps over the top when it's raining. Now, if I'm going to stay for a week or so, what I'll do is I'll tie them off a lot better. For just a night or two, I'll just throw them over it like this. I just like to keep the rain off the canvas, off the top, as much as possible. It works out. It's a pretty good system. Okay, here comes that rain. Rain is definitely coming in. Well, it looks like the rain's about ready to stop. It's been raining pretty strong for about 24 hours now. Got my camper all set up, my executive office all set up here. Kind of go through my lighting system, my little lights that I have. Now you notice I've got a variety of them here. All of them are LED. I'm going to go ahead and replace the batteries in them and just get them ready for the season coming up. With the rain, it's just a great time to get things like this done. This is a pretty cool little light system right here. It's got magnets on the back, but it's got one switch. It's got two switches or you can put them both on. Pretty bright. And this right here is a little battery operated motion detector light. I actually have it mounted on a piece of wood. When I go to bed at night, especially like up around Lake Superior stuff, it is as black as black can be. Especially on the nights with no moon. And there's a lot of animals running around up there. You know, there's wolves and coyotes and bear, black bear, and yeah, things bobcat, like probably some mountain lions up there. So that way if something walks up, bam, 
it comes on and it kind of gives me some warning hey there's something outside walking around now you would want to put this up in a normal campsite that's crowded with kids running by and people walking by because it's going to go off all the time but if you got a remote campground it's not a bad idea you know there's a couple people that i follow on youtube and they do a lot of solo camping kind of like i do out in the middle of nowhere and this wouldn't be a bad idea for them to have one of these lights like this a lot of people feel kind of funny about it but i would rather know if something's walking around outside i'd rather identify it than to sit there and say possibly be scared and you know put a blanket over your head and hopefully it goes away i'd rather just see what it is and talk to it say hey man are you here to get some food or are you here for company or are you here to do me some harm might just be a friendly little bear or coyote or wolf mountain lion and an animal or a person walks up on your camp it's going to boom trigger so it's a pretty nice system highly recommend one i think i got it at menards yeah the thing about rainy days is don't let it bum you out no big deal but the rain don't last forever if you get the chance take your boat with you get on out there the rain will stop the fish will bite and you'll end up having a good day so i pulled in last night and it was raining there was probably about 30 minutes before it turned totally dark and i started setting up the 1987 sun valley coleman camper i didn't have a headlamp on is i literally on certain things i could literally feel my way through it bed supports putting up the door system countertop everything like that it was almost dark totally dark but I've done it so many times and that was actually probably pretty good practice and I suggest that to you too if you're new to like a pop-up camper I would set it up several times in your yard or in your driveway just set it up take it down set it up take it down that way when you get out and you get in a condition where all of a sudden the lights getting low you either have to take it down or you have to put it back up you'll kind of know what's going on you'll kind of be a smooth machine and know how to do this without having lights and instructions and all that it's always a good idea this little light right here now you can buy these at menards these little lights here i think they're five dollars for two of them they come in a package of two now i think i've seen them a package of like nine or ten of them these are one of the best lights that i've ever found they kind of have a little bit of a soft rubber coating to them they have a little push button right here off and on they have a strap these lights right here for an led they take three double a batteries they last forever and i mean these guys are super duper bright you could easily hike go out to your garage and look for something in our cabin at home i actually have these hanging all over the place and we use them everywhere we have them hanging by the door we have them on the dresser we have them by the stairway because it's so easy when you're looking for something just to find one and there it is nice little lights i highly highly recommend them keep them in your pocket keep them in your purse Anytime you set your camper up, you should always have like a little, a little level with you, a line level. Pretty important to always have your camper level from side to side and length. And when I set it up last night, I kind of just eyeballed it. I was sleeping on this side here and it's got just a slight bit of tilt downhill. It's really bad if you set your camper up where your head, wherever you put your pillow, is going down. Because to me, that's an instant headache every time. You wake up, you're going to have a This is pretty level, side to side, but it's slightly going downhill. And it is slight. All night, I kept waking up, and I would just slowly migrate to the back of the camp. It's, it's kind of weird. It's like when you lay down, you don't feel it. You know, you think like, oh, this is no big deal. I feel maybe a little slope. So once you go to sleep, your muscles relax. Your body will naturally just start to move on the slant. Now, now the rain has stopped and I need to lower this side of the camper and raise this side and get it leveled up. Because I'll be here another day or two and it doesn't take me any time to do it. Might as well always make yourself comfortable when you go camping. So what I'm going to do is I've got the 87 Sun Valley, Coleman Sun Valley. I've got to lower this front end and I've got to raise the I said I should have used a level last night when I pulled in, but it was raining, it was dark. Just went ahead and set it up. So the first thing I'll do is I'll actually take my crank and raise it up, take the pressure off the legs. There we go. 
Okay, so now that my legs are up, I'm gonna go ahead and lower this back down. There's one of the little line levels I was talking about that really comes in handy. Okay, that's where I need to be. My crank is as far down as it'll go, but it just happens to work out where that is level right there. So I'll go ahead and set the feet back there. Good and level. Now you can see on the back, my legs are almost fully extended and they're still not hitting the ground. Raise these back up. And then I'm gonna put some wood underneath them and then lower them back down, rather than to have this leg totally extended. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Be nice maybe to even have a concrete block under each one, but you just gotta deal with what you have. You can see this campsite's got quite a bit of a drop from the main road. And then once I went past that parking block, it really dropped off. Which kind of is giving me a little bit of a problem, but you just have to deal with it. A little bit here, I'm going to go ahead and take the tarps off. If you have the room, carry a couple extra pieces of wood. In case you get a situation like this, you're not looking for logs out into the forest. You kind of have what you need. Because this slope is going down so far, it's kind of giving me a little bit of trouble with my bed support that I make. I don't rely on the factory bed supports. I want to add a little extra support underneath there. The rain has stopped, I'd like to go ahead and take the tarps off. Make sure the camp dries out real good underneath the tarp. A lot of times a lot of dew can start setting up in there. Let it dry out. Don't have to put the tarps on, but it's always a good idea to just keep everything covered up. It just keeps that moisture off everything. Always a good idea. Out here on my remote executive office, getting ready to put a little video together on Madison, Wisconsin. What a lot of people don't realize is when you watch a YouTube video, you watch the video and you think, wow, that was a great adventure. Phew, they put a lot of time in that. What you're seeing is only half the actual production. You know, there's the preparation, a lot of preparation, a lot of camera work, a lot of battery use, getting all that together just to go to plan the trip. Then once you get there, the trip goes on, like this right here. And once you get done with that, then you have all your editing. Put it into iMovie, you put it into whatever editing software you're using, you go through it, edit the parts out that you want. The hardest thing that I find is when I take a trip, I may come back with two hours worth of great photography, videotape, I have to somehow then condense that down to 15 minutes. That is such a struggle for me. I'm learning. People don't have a lot of time these days and they want to watch it and they want to go on. Whatever they're doing, they want to go on. They don't have two hours to sit down and watch a video. So I'm learning how to do that. Yeah, I mentioned how much work this is and just say my battery went dead <laughs> in my camera.
I get up and change the batteries and go. It's very important that you always keep your batteries charging. So now I've put my other battery that went dead on a charger, make sure everything stays fully charged. And I hope you never get the impression that I'm complaining about the work when I mention how much work there is because I truly love it. So I do hope you find it interesting. If you do, hit that like button, uh, send awesome. me a comment. I'm gonna get on this video right now. I appreciate you dropping by. I hear the birds are coming out. The birds don't sing in the rain. I don't know if you ever noticed that or not. They get quiet. I guess they're, they're like hunker down or something, but maybe a few crazy ones might, but most of them get real quiet. As soon as the rain's over with, bam. Time to get creative. Creative mind. Here we are at the Madison 